Why do we write without any intent, intended to render the tender we've spent on food for thought? Can you spare me your two cents? All of these pennies from heaven have petrichor sense. The brainstorm rains down in a torrent of feelings. Intellectual property is ripe for the stealing, and the fruits of my labor is farmed, yet unyielding. I do not need a hand. I do not care who is dealing. I'm still reeling from getting hooked by the lines that the others were baiting me with. They have wormed their way into my mind. Truly unruly school stoolies drooling over school bullies brooding and exuding false bravado foolishly and uselessly reusing old rulings of crude cretins seated in station stationary for seasons much past their prime for unknown reasons until they ripe from their tripe brow beating needing to needle the needy needlessly stealing from the poor box neatly into unchecked boxes discreetly blamed for the criminal checks filling pine boxes for weekly news briefs under where it is excreted. Can't I have a moment to breathe, to seethe, believe I would love to complete a stray thought on this dog day afternoon, but more often than not the train of thought runs out of steam too soon. My pen is a baton with energy inside, making me a superconductor. The whiteout dribbling down erases mistakes. I drive full head of steam. I give my boiler room all I can muster and try not to oversaturate the lumber as I attempt to walk in water. Yes, I'm back in the stream of consciousness, but it's less of a saunter and more of a march that April May showered with some powerful starch that keeps us standing straight through the fear of collapse. Just like that, we react with a finger snap. From the beginning of time, the rhyme scheme was such that the nursery was overgrown with grown-ups over the age of reason. The reason I'm fed up with being fed lines from overproduced, overstimulating, overpopulated, federally mandated and dated examples of man is because I'm over it. <laughs>